Hello, welcome to Cloud Learning Channel. In this module, we will learn how to connect to Cloud SQL for MySQL uh, in Google Cloud using Power BI Desktop. So in this module, we learn um, how to get the connection details uh, for MySQL from uh, Google Cloud using Google Cloud Console. And also we will learn how to enter those details and uh, import data from uh, MySQL into Power BI Desktop. And also I will show you guys how to create a, a simple dashboard using this Power BI tool. Okay, so let me start with um, uh, connect, uh, open the Power BI tool. So I already opened Power BI tool. So how do we connect to MySQL uh, instance from this Power BI? So here on top of the BI tool, Power BI tool, we have an option called get data and click on get data. And we can see all the list of connectors available in this uh, Power BI desktop. So just enter enter MySQL in the search. And we should be able to see the MySQL database connector and uh, click on connect. Now we need to enter the server details and the database name. So now you may have a question, how do we get these server details and database that uh, that MySQL instance that is existing in Google Cloud? So now let me go and let me go back to Google Cloud and open this uh, MySQL instance page and here click on overview page. We are already in overview page and uh, select the public IP address. And here we see that connect to this instance. So if you want to connect to this uh, MySQL instance in Google Cloud, and you must use this public IP address from any tool that uh, you want to access this instance. Okay, so now I will, uh, I will enter this server details here. And how do we get the database name? And go here uh, on your left in a Google Cloud, click on databases. So you should be able to see all the list of databases available in your MySQL instance. So now I will just select one of the database and come back to Power BI, enter the, the database name and click OK. Now we have two options uh, to connect to uh, Cloud SQL for MySQL instance in Google Cloud. And uh, I will select the database. And uh, remember, we must enter the, the user that we created during the deployment in Google Cloud. And if you want to, if you don't have those details, and if you want to find out how you can get it, please go to my previous videos. There are, uh, there are one video module available, how to deploy a MySQL instance in a Google Cloud. And um, you can see the how we can create a root user and password. The user is default, it's a root user and the password that we created during the deployment. So I will enter the same password to connect to my Cloud SQL for MySQL and click on connect. So we should be able to see all the list of tables and I have one table available in this database and I will select that uh, uh, table and here we see all the list of attributes available and I will select this table and start loading data. And we should be able to see all the data in our Power BI. So right now you see that connection is established and there are like you know, a thousand rows uh, imported. So now uh, we need to select all the list of attributes just to see the data. So here on your right in Power BI tool, select, select all the attributes that you want to add to your report. For now, I'll just select all the, the, the attributes. And if we want to add a new uh, visualization, and if you want to add a visualization chart, and what we need to do, just go here on top of the BI tool. And here we see that add a visual to your report. So I will just click on add a visual. So now I have a visual here. So now what I will do, right? So I will start selecting the attributes that I need for this report. Just click on this new visualization. So now we need to start adding the, the columns here. So what do I want to see? So let me just expand a little bit so that we can see the data better. So I will just move on. And I want to add a data here. Okay, sorry, so I think I accidentally 
So now I can see all the list of attributes here. So let me just expand the new visualization so that you can see better. So now I want to select a clarity attribute and the color attribute and the cut. So I want to select these and then see the difference. So now how do I add these three attributes into my new visualization report? So now just click on new visualization and select your attribute and we want to add a clarity and bring it to axis. And also we need to add a color and bring it to legend and also add we want to we want to see the card just add it here and then now we should be able to see it so i added access and legend now we need to add the data fields data fields here so i will just um uh, add the clarity here, the data field. Now we should be able to see the data here. And here, if you look at it, the, the cut is ideal, very good premium, ideal premium, very good at good fare. And the count of clarity. So here we can see the count of clarity. And this is like, you know, a simple visualization chart that you can create uh, using Power BI. And again, like, you know, there are a lot of things you can uh, do using this Power BI tool. But if you want to build, like, you know, some uh, good uh, Power BI uh, report, and if you want to automate um, the report whenever you see a change in a database and you want to reflect those changes in your report, report and send those changes to the recipient. But if you want to get like, you know, if you want to know how to do that, and please uh, go through my videos. Uh, there are like, you know, some Power BI modules available. So those videos um, help you to build like, you know, a good dashboards and um, automate all your dashboards and send the reports to users. Uh, but here in this module, what we learn um, how to connect to the Cloud SQL for MySQL instance, instance that is um, uh, exist in Google Cloud. So how do we connect to Google Cloud from Power BI tool? So for Cloud SQL, MySQL, SQL Server, PostgreSQL, and we can just use the database connectors. Let's say uh, if I want to connect to a SQL Server that is hosted in Google Cloud, uh, what we can do, right, we can just select um, uh, SQL Server and we can just uh, use it. But if you want to connect to a big query that is a different, uh, that is different, just enter Google. And here we see the, the connector available. Once you select this connector and you need to enter the credentials to connect to the Google or do Google big query. But uh, here uh, in this module, we just uh, connected to MySQL instance that is already created in a, a Google Cloud. And here, if you look at the Cloud SQL, so I have list of instances available. I will select the MySQL instance. And um, this is the instance uh, is deployed in Google Cloud. And we connected to this instance using Power BI. And then we, add, we imported all the data and we just added a new visualization tool and we selected few fields and just want to uh, see the data. And if you want to add a new visual, just like, you know, you can uh, select here or you can also click on new visual here. And we can just click on new visual if you want to add a new report and also selected the fields or selected the report that you want to see in this new visualization. But if you don't want this visualization, just uh, delete it and you can select an another visualization. Let's say if you want to build a new visualization that is pie chart, you can select and start adding the fields. Just uh, add the, the clarity and the color and um, enter the data fields here in the cut. So, and then you should be able to see all the details in your new visualization chart. So, so far in this session, we covered how to connect to Cloud SQL for MySQL instance using Power BI tool and how to get the connection details from the Google Cloud, uh, Google Cloud using Google Cloud Console. And also we imported all the data 
and we added a couple of visualization uh, visualization charts here in this uh, report and again if you want to export this data it's pretty easy and if you want to build an advanced uh, reports or uh, uh, you can uh, refer my other modules in the channel and if you have any questions on connecting to mysql instance or building a dashboards or send reports to users how to use this power bi tool and please uh, post all your questions in the comments and i will try to reply as soon as possible if you like this video please subscribe and share the channel thank you